Bada bada bu, Inspector Gadget, bada bada bu, 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 Oh man, I loved Inspector Gadget. Back in the day when it was the hottest thing around. <laughs> Even though it had come out like almost a full decade before I was born, like seriously. I don't know what it was. What was the appeal of Inspector Gadget? The idea of a bumbling detective or inspector and his niece who was the real brains of the outfit with her super intelligent dog. Something about that trope, the bumbling inspector, it's just such a staple of more comedic and fun-loving mystery series. You have Detective Conan, you have uh, Lupin the Third, you've got Inspector Clouseau, uh, hell, even, they've even done it in terms of the new Carmen Sandiego series on Netflix. You know, that was a big staple of it as well. And Honestly, just Inspector Gadget is just a fun and interesting series that just never seems to have completely gone away. Even if you weren't watching, there was always an Inspector Gadget series to some degree. Now, while the initial series, like a lot of more legacy cartoons, came out in the 1980s, it had various spin-offs and movies, like Inspector Gadget Saves Christmas, because every one saves Christmas at some point, let's be real. If you're not saving Christmas, then you're not a very good character. Everyone saves Christmas at least once, which came out in the early 90s, and honestly, I've never watched it, and if I did, I don't remember. Another thing I have no recollection of is Gadget Boy and Heather, a flipping of the gadget premise where you know whereas Ga inspector gadget was a grown man you have gadget boy who is a little child who's with heather the penny equivalent but she's in her 20s instead of being a young girl and honestly this series just completely escaped me despite the fact that i honestly would have been the target audience came out in 1995 i would have been about five years old when this came out so it's it's baffling that I have no recollection of this series maybe it was for the best maybe it wasn't so some of the clips of the animation I've seen is kind of shoddy but if you remember this series please let me know what I missed out on another thing I missed out on was Inspector Gadget's field trip. Apparently, when the second season of Gadget Boy came out, it was all about Gadget Boy traveling through time. And on the flip side of that, you had Inspector Gadget's field trips with the older Gadget traveling the world. So, a very Carmen Sandiego-esque series, where it was all about teaching children about the world and the history and all that good stuff. So, you know, as most cartoon characters tend to be, it was the PSA time. You know, time to teach the kids a little something with cartoons, but I don't think it really lasted too, too long, let's be honest. We then moved into something that I especially kind of vaguely m remember, and that's Inspector Ga well, Gadget and the Gadgetinis, which I have vague memories of. Memories of Inspector Gadget going around with these little miniature gadget bots. There was no brain in this series and I just remember because at the time of this series I was like I want to say 12 or so or like the exact same age as Penny in this series and I remember I had kind of a crush on Penny because I thought her character design looked super cute and even today it's just like man that's a really cute character design I am all for it but aside from thinking that I have 
barely any recollection of this series. But what I do have a lot of recollection of is the Inspector Gadget movie. Because... You know, this came out a bit before the Gadget and the Gadgetini, whatever, but 1999, uh, before the turn of the century and all that good stuff, and I was about eight at the time of this release, and I loved this movie. I thought it was fun, I loved Penny in this series, who was played by uh, Michelle... Tachenberg or something like that. She was in a lot of stuff way back in the day. Like, in the early 90s and a lot of the 2000s, she was everywhere for a solid while. And it's only been in the past decade that she just hasn't appeared as much or I haven't seen her in as many things as I did before. But I remember she was in Harriet the Spy, which I loved. Like, she was in a lot of stuff way back in the day. And Matthew Broderick, you know, the Mr. That's a lot of fish. Like, he honestly played the part well and I liked a lot of the effects honestly I really love this movie for some reason or another I really dug this movie so it's just one of those things that I helped reinvigorate a whole generation in terms of what they felt about Inspector Gadget. It was fun, it was funky, it was weird, it was silly. It hit that sweet spot around the time of, it came out around the time of like the George of the Jungle movie with um, Brendan Fraser or even the old uh, Flintstones movie and all that. That's just like, it shouldn't have worked as well as it did, but was just fun enough that you actually enjoyed the movie for the most part it was just like well done you guys well done and around that time with inspector gadget and the gadgetinis they had inspector gadget's last case which saw the end of the gadget mobile you know it shows the popularity of that series although it ended up completely removing the gadgetinis and bringing back brain who was a staple it's just like you can't you can't remove brain come on it's brain you know with his disguises and his, you know, propensity. He was Courage the Cowardly Dog before Courage the Cowardly Dog. Just not as cowardly. He was actually very brave, let's be real. But a fun little movie that I do kind of remember. I remember Brain looked really weird in this movie, though. But speaking of weird, ugh. Ugh, Inspector Gadget 2. I'm sorry to anyone who actually liked this movie, but they it was like they were trying to be a lot more cartoony than the first movie, and it's just like, oh, we're introducing the love interest, and none of the characters, nobody returned as far as I remember, nobody returned to reprise their roles or anything like that, and I remember... Just be like, man, this this movie is not for me. I hated the CG in it. It was it spoke volumes that the CG in this movie just put me so far off. Like I was not digging it. It's just like, wasn't there a love plot line in the first movie? And now it's just like, oh, we're redoing it just so we can introduce, you know, Gadget Two or the new gadget or whatever it just hey i was not gelling with this movie and it really sucks because they replayed it so often on i think disney channel yeah they replayed this movie so many times and it's just like i should have been great for this series like i was still within the target demographic but i just did not care for this movie and I was I'm sorry French Stewart is a good enough actor but 
it suffered from the sequelitis. A lot of, like I've said before, the Flintstones second movie was not great. I think it was Viva Rock Vegas. I wanted to like that, but I don't think I did. And even George's, well, I can't say that. I actually enjoyed, enjoyed George of the Jungle too. But if you and far between would lightning strike for a second outing, and it just, for me at least, it didn't for this movie. And, uh, oh god, it's just Inspector Gadget's biggest caper ever. A CGI movie that I remember seeing from time to time while I was flipping through the channels. And I remember looking, taking one look at the way everybody in the movie looked and I just remember being put off by it you know Penny was probably the oldest she had ever been like around 16 I think she was and I just had no love for this movie it was <sighs> just the way they move the way they look the way they would emote you know, Brain was the only one who looked okay, and even that was just, ew. Low textures, low, uh, just, no. The mid-2000s was not, not kind to CG, especially when they tried to make it kind of realistic. Like, this looked like a goddamn PS2 game. And that's being generous. That's really being generous. I just no, no. If anyone can tell me if this is actually good or not, please. But just no, ew, ew. And it would be quite a while before the next Inspector Gadget series actually came out. Like basically a decade later that previous movie came out in 2005 and that was the last inspector gadget thing until 2015 where you got the new revived inspector gadget series which was actually pretty good from the episodes that i caught the character model for inspector gadget was fun i love the dynamic that they introduced here where claw had his nephew introduced talon and Whereas with Inspector Gadget, he's a bumbler and he always gets into trouble and causes all these problems and Penny bails him out. And Penny was a full-on agent here in this series. I actually really liked that. You know, there was one of those things that they kept slowly going into where Inspector Gadget tried to keep his niece out of trouble. But over time, over each series, she would become more and more involved with the organization until here she was a full-on agent. And... Uh, when it came to Claw and Talon, you know, whenever Claw's projects or schemes would fail, for some reason he would always blame his nephew Talon when it was wouldn't even be his fault. So it was it was a fun juxtaposition. Penny looked super cute in this series. I just never really watched too many of the episodes. It, I, I every time I would peek in, there were funny clips here and there, and just. It's one of those things that I wish I watched a little bit more of. I might go back and watch more of it later on. Who knows? But a decent enough series. And, you know, it, it, it was kind of the last thing. It ran a good amount of time, let's be honest. You know, four seasons, 52 episodes. Like, dude. It, it had a strong run. You get past three seasons, you've had a decent run. That's my opinion. That's always been my opinion. Th you get past three seasons, you're golden. But, you know, it had enough episodes to reach syndication, and I guess... Because once you get past 50, I think it is, you have syndication, and... You know, some networks tend to drop things because they can get just as much off of reruns at that point. But, uh, a, a good series that really just deserves a revitalization. But, ended back in 2018. It's been a hot minute since it was ended. But, 
I, I don't think that's the last we'll ever see of Inspector Gadget. Be it five, five more years or be it another decade until the next Inspector Gadget. There's always some kind of draw to this series. As long as people are willing to just remember. And Penny is always the true protagonist. Let's be real. Ah, uh, man. I'd say make a whole series around Penny, but... It's the juxtaposition of in, uh, Gadget's bumbling with Penny's competence. It's a formula for a fantastic show. But hey, tell me your memories of Inspector Gadget in the comment section below. What are your fondest moments of your childhood? You know, I'm really interested in hearing from you. So like, comment, and subscribe depending on how you felt about this video. Or don't, I ain't your daddy. And until next time, I've been Dudes Diz Then, and I will see you later. Bye bye